Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Gia. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. The search continues for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Let's find out together kung kaya nila ang brain workout natin for this season. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition when we reveal our next K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. First, we have Pao. Pao is taking malikhaing pagsulat sa Filipino. She's also an animal lover and wants to build a shelter for stray dogs and stray cats someday. Next, we have Josie. Josie is a physical education student who claims that as long as wala siyang training or class, pwede siyang yayain kahit saan. Next, we have Jean. Jean is also a PE student who enjoys basketball, volleyball, and track and field. And his favorite hobby is watching anime. And finally, we have Sam. Sam is a third-year Bachelor of Sports Science student and is part of the UP track and field team. A fun fact about her is she enjoys watching horror movies alone when she is bored. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First, we have Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. We also have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Department of History. And last but not least, Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, hawak na ni Jules ang mga tanong na kailangan ninyong sagutin. So get ready to buzz in, but wait for him to call your name before answering. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin. Question number one. In what sport did the Skywalker Samboy Lim become famous? The correct answer is basketball. Question number two. What present-day country is the main setting of the 1995 Disney film, Pocahontas. The correct answer is United States. Okay. Question number three. Which city-state in Southeast Asia is also known as the Lion City? Sam. Singapore. Singapore is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What is the five-letter word that may mean a card game that involves pairs and flushes or a metal rod used to steer fires? The correct answer is poker. Question number five. What avenue in Quezon City is named after the patriotic organization founded by Andres Bonifacio and other Filipinos in 1892. I know it should be. I don't know Okay. The correct answer is Katipunan. Okay. Okay. Okay, question number six. Geometry. In square inches, what is the area of a square whose side measures seven inches? Sam. 49. 49 is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. Which Marvel superhero played by Chris Evans in the movies is the alter ego of Steve Rogers? Josie. Captain America. Captain America is correct. <laughs> Kate check. Question number eight. Which female singer recorded the hit songs If You Had My Love, Let's Get Loud, and Love Don't Cost a Thing? The correct answer is Jennifer Lopez or J-Lo. Narinig yun na ba yung mga songs? Na? Yes, okay. Question number nine. The term Swiss refers to a native of what country? Sam. Sweden. 
Sweden. Sweden is wrong. Anyone can steal from the three of you. The correct answer is Switzerland. Okay, question number 10. In which city in Palestine can you find the Church of the Nativity? The correct answer is Bethlehem. Question number 11 in astronomy. Titan is the moon that is the only one known to have a dense atmosphere. Titan is a moon of what ringed planet? Pau. Saturn. Saturn is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. The NTC is a government agency mandated to regulate and supervise radio and television broadcast stations, as well as matters involving mobile telephones. What do the letters NTC stand for? Pau. National Telecommunications. <laughs> Magpasta rin tayo sa time, pero that is wrong, basically wrong, kasi kulang. Okay, pwede pa ba mag-steal? Pwede pa mag-steal. Anyone from the three of you can steal. Okay, sayang. The correct answer is National Telecommunications Commission. Yun yung C doon. Okay, alright. So that ends round number one. And after that round, we have Sam in the lead with 20 points, followed by both Pau and Josie, who are tied with 10 points each. And Jean, who has a lot of catching up to do. So now it's time to get to know our contestants. Unahin po natin si Pau. Bakit mo naiisip na magtayo ng animal shelter? Uh, kasi po, uh, yung uh, growing up po, yung papa ko po, uh, lagi po siyang nag-aalaga ng mga aso, ibon, Ganun po. Tas, parang na, ano ko na lang din po siya, na-adapt ko siya. Tas, kapag po kasi may nakikita ko mga stray dogs or stray cats, uh, naawa po ko. Especially po yung mga sinasaksa ng ibang tao. So, sa mga viewers natin, na kailangan maging mabait tayo sa lahat ng creatures. Lalo okay. na sa mga stray dogs and cats. Thank you, Pao, Pao, for doing that. Okay, si Josie naman. Si Josie, basta hindi busy, sasama. Kaladkarin. Otherwise, Very Yuki student. Naunahan mo lang ako. Otherwise known as Kaladkarin. Tunay na Yuki student. So, ano ang strangest or favorite invitation to an adventure na nakuha mo at tinanggap mo rin? Sobrang dami po eh. Kahit ano. Favorite mo na lang. Ano yung favorite? Uh, yung latest po. Bigla ang celebration na. ng team. So, Saan kayo nag-celebrate? Diyan lang po sa katip. Ah, alam ko na siguro That's yun. my first time. <laughs> oh my, my first time. Alam ba ng magulang mo na ikaw yes, ay kalad ka rin? Okay. Very Always understanding of parents. Updated po. Lagi. Updated lagi. Ayan, yun yung mahalaga. <laughs> so, for now, thank you sa ating mga contestants. Si Jean at saka si Sam, don't worry. Babalikan namin kayo. Diba? Itutuloy natin ang usapan natin later. Pero right now, maganda tayong lahat for round two. Susunod na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Again, we have Sam in the lead with 20 points. Josie and Pao with 10 points each. And Jean with 0 points. Of course, Jean... Eh, marami ka pang catching up to do. Pero of course, hindi naman nakakagulat na sporty ang pursuits mo. Ang konti nga, volleyball, basketball, track and field. Pero ang hobby mo, no movement required. Ano naman ang nagustuhan mo sa anime? Nakikita ko po sa sarili ko sa anime. Kasi sa napapanood ko po, hardworking po sila. A hardworking? Katulad. Ang rinig ko, heartbroken. <laughs> hardworking yung mga nasa anime? Yes po. Anong pinapanood mong anime? Uh, Demon Slayer. Ah, oh, sige. Hindi <laughs> ko alam kasi <laughs> never akong nanood ng anime. Ano nga yung anime na ano, mga basketball player? Slam Dunk. Ayun, pinapanood na natin. Oo, oh, kasi bakit? Mukhang nanonood si Kung Lahat. Oo. Oh. Ayan, ito naman si Sam. Bali, ang hobby mo lang naman ay takutin ang sarili mo. <laughs> kasi 
hindi pa yun nangyayari eh, habang nanonood ka ng horror film. So aside from horror films, may mga ibang ka pa bang ways na ginagawa para takutin yung sarili mo? Oh, wala naman po. Hindi po ako matatakot yun eh. So Ay. parang yung avenue ko lang is maghanap ng mga scary movies. Or hinahanap ko yung scariest movies na yeah, ina-offer ng Netflix or other na mga... Ano na scariest movie ang napanood mo? Um, yung pinakamagandang storyline na horror movie is yung Insidious at yung mga sequels niya. Yun yung pinaka nagustuhan ko ng horror movies. Never akong nanonood. <laughs> and I mean, never akong never nanonood sorry. ng horror movie. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat sa ating contestants for sharing your stories with us. But now, it's time to get back to the competition. This is round two. Remember to wait to be acknowledged before answering. Each correct answer is worth 20 points. However, you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin! This is round two. Question number one. Which titan in Greek mythology is famous for supporting the sky and gave his name to a collection of maps? Hindi na kasi uso ngayon ang mga libro. That collection of maps is known as an atlas. Also the name of that Greek titan. Question number two. In automobiles, which German company founded in 1937 manufactures the Beetle, which is the second most produced car in history? Sam. Volkswagen. Volkswagen is the correct answer. K-check. Question number three. In this Middle Eastern country, there are 27 men for every 10 women, which makes it the most male-dominated nation in the world. What is this country whose name starts with the letter Q? Tam. Qatar. Qatar is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. What is the name of the large water bird that is known for its long beak and large throat pouches that helps it consume up to two kilograms of fish per day? What is the pelican? Question number five. President Joko Widodo made a three-day official visit to the Philippines last January 2024. Of what country is Widodo the president of? He is the president of Indonesia. Question number six. Short for jean shorts, what do you call short pants made of denim fabric? What are joints? Question number seven. The tallest waterfall in the world is Angels Falls, which is about 980 meters high in Venezuela. In what continent can you find Angel Falls? The correct answer is South America. Question number eight. What is the name of the waxy, fat-like substance found in human and animal cells that is one of the leading causes of heart disease? Alam na alam na mga may edad na nanonood ngayon. The correct answer is cholesterol. Question number nine. The video game Donkey Kong introduced which famous plumber who became Nintendo's most successful character? Wow. Super Mario. Super Mario or Mario is the correct answer. k -check. Question number 10. What is the name of the relatively new game resembling tennis in which the players use paddles to hit a perforated plastic ball over a net? Wow. Ping pong. The answer is incorrect. Sam. Paddle ball. The answer is not correct. Josie. Um, badminton. The answer is also incorrect. The 
correct answer is pickleball. Almost, but not quite. Um, question number 11. What is the Filipino word for the vegetable, also known as ladies' fingers? How? Okra. Okra is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12, and the last question for this round. What is the scientific name for a modern human being? The correct answer is Homo sapiens. And that's it for the second round. Points recap muna tayo. Sam is leading with 50 points, followed by Pao with 40 points, at si Josie at Jean naman. Kailangan yung humabol sa ating last round mamaya. Okay, so up next, uh, pinaka hinihintay nating lahat. Walang iba kundi ang ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lamang yan sa... K-Check! Welcome back everyone. Points recap muna tayo. Sam is leading with 50 points. Followed by Pao with 40 points. At si Josie at si Jean, hahabol dapat sa ating last round. So in the lead man, si Sam, ay may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba. Dahil nandito na nga tayo sa ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, magagaling ang mga katanungan. And this is your last chance para humabol. So dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each. At may 15 point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ultimate pagalingan round. First question will come from Prof. Glessy. Ito yung tanong. What term is used to refer to performances where the audience sit around the acting area? Letter A, circular theater. Letter B, theater in the round. Letter C, proscenium theater. Letter D, lobby. And letter E, on stage. The correct answer is letter B, theater in the round. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Neil. Yeah, general information. Sa anong kagawaran bahagi ang Presidential Commission on Good Government at Land Registration Authority? A. Department of Agriculture. B. Department of Budget and Management. C. Department of Finance. D. Department of Justice. E, Department of Trade and Industry. Wow. Letter, letter A po, Department of Agriculture. Mali. Sam, C. Mali. Josie. E po, Department of Trade and Industry. Mali. Jean. Letter B po, Department of Budget and Management. Mali. <laughs> Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Department of Justice. Of Justice. Okay, next question. What was the primary goal of the Human Genome Project? A. To clone human beings. B. To sequence the entire human genome. C. To create genetically modified organisms. D. To study the genetics of animals. E. To develop new vaccines. Sam, C. C is incorrect. G. Letter B po. B to sequence the entire human genome is correct. K check. Let's see next question. Next question. Performers are usually greeted with the idiom break a leg before they enter the stage. What does the idiom break a leg mean? Letter A, good luck. Sam. A, good luck. Wrong answer. Letter B, good luck and give your best. Letter C, good morning and may you win. Letter D, good evening and goodbye. Letter E, good gracious. Letter B, po, good luck and give your best. The correct answer is letter B, good luck and give your best. K-check. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question. 
sa anong probinsya ng Pilipinas ginaganap ang Sinulog Festival? A. Capiz B. Cebu Sam B. Cebu Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Cebu K. Check Thank you, Prof. Marla. Next question. What is the chemical name for table salt? A. Calcium chloride B. Magnesium sulfate C. Sodium chloride D. Potassium nitrate E. Hydrogen peroxide Sam, sodium chloride C C. Sodium chloride is correct. K-check Thank you. Kapawi ulit si Sam. Bumabalik. Bumabalik. Prof. Klesi, next question. What is the name of this famous 19th century Tondo-based theater group who had Katiponeros as their members? Letter A, Circulo Teatro. Letter B, Teatro Tondo. Letter C, Teatro Porvenir. Letter D, Teatro Ilagan. And letter E, Teatro Infantil de Manila. The correct answer is letter C, Teatro Porvenir. Talk me in. Next question, please. Sino ang kilalang storyador na sumulat ng maraming aklat tulad ng The Revolt of the Masses, Malolos, The Crisis of the Republic, History of the Filipino People? A. Teodoro Agoncillo, B. Renato Constantino, C. Onofre Corpus, D. Samuel Tan, E. Rigorio Saite. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Teodoro Agoncillo. Thank you, Prof. Marla. Next question, please. What law states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed or transferred? A. Newton's Law of Gravitation B. Ohm's Law C. Law of Conservation of Energy D. Boyle's Law E. Archimedes' Principle The correct answer is C. Law of Conservation of Energy And now we're off to the last set of questions for this okay. round. Okay. Prof. Glessie, go ahead. Okay. This famous song was penned in 1929 by Jose Caras Corazon de Jesus and set to music by Constancio de Guzman. It became one of the most popular nationalistic songs of the 70s. What is the title of this song? Letter A, Pilipinas Kong Mahal. Letter B, Bayan Ko. Letter C, Tagumpay ng Pilipinas. Letter D, Mutya. And letter E, Lupang Hinira. The correct answer is letter B, Bayan Ko. Drop me, go ahead. Sino ang kinikilalang pangunahing bayani na anak ng lungsod keso? A. Andres Bonifacio B. Emilio Jacinto C. Manuel Luis Quezon D. Melchora Casilag E. Tandang Sora Letter C po Mali A po Mali Akala ko naman ta Ha 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 Tamang sagot ay letter E, Tandang Sora. Di ba sikat na lugar yan dito? Okay, last question, Prof. Marla. What is the name of the natural event marked by periodic changes in the Pacific Ocean's surface temperatures and atmospheric pressure? A. Pacific Oscillation B. Equatorial Fluctuation C. Pacific Cascade D. Enso or El Nino Southern Oscillation E. Pacific Dynamics The correct answer is D. Enso or El Nino Southern Oscillation 
And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Sam, our K-Check daily winner with a final score of 65 points. We'll see her tomorrow again when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Maraming salamat din kay Pao, kay Josie, at saka kay Jean for joining. And to the members, of course, of our panel of experts, Professor Glessie, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. Ito po ay si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman po si Jules Giang. Please join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.